up YouTube, it's your girl Mari and I am back with another video. As y'all can hear some talk to y'all about the fall hauls. Yeah, I've been on this, yeah, I've been on this long journey with me throughout my whole process of surgery. So why not get y'all the tea that the steps that I've been taking, the do's, the don'ts, all of that. Yeah, I know I'm gonna give it to y'all uncut and raw. So I got three fall hauls here with me today that I want to show y'all. Um and just kind of talk to y'all about them. So without further ado, if you are new to my channel, please subscribe, like, and hit that post notification bell so you can be notified when I drop a new video. And if you are returning, you already know it's game for life. Let's get right into it. Um, I definitely love the support, y'all. Y'all just keep me going each and every day. Um, any questions, y'all know my socials are down below linked. Please DM me if you have any questions, anything personal that you want to talk about, DM it to me. You don't have to comment. I will try to respond as quickly as possible. So without further ado, let's get straight into this video. And yeah, let's talk Fahas. So, <laughs> dang, the Faha dropped before I can even show y'all. So yeah, I have the three Fahas here and I am waist training since I am at work. I did have on my faja, but since we talking about it, I took it off and I waist trained for extra compression. And my waist trainer is the bomb. My compression video will be either after this one or after my clothing haul. So stay tuned for that. I will talk to y'all about compression and how I compress. But this is my number one compression um, faja. I would say this faja is okay, y'all. It's not all of that. I got these two Fajas from Amazon, and I do not recommend these at all. Look how thin the material looks. It's it's just not giving. Um, they are a size large. I can fit them, um, but it's it's just not compression. Like it's not compression at all. And this is for my thumbnail. But it's not no compression um on the waist it has the three hooks y'all if y'all can find the fajas that are literally like the right material these will be bomb fajas but they were only like 30 dollars on amazon so i just bought them anyways but my number one go-to faja will be this one i got this faja from a girl in my city this is a size large that's what i mean by i have to give me a new faja it's no compression on the butt or the hips but i have to give me a new faja because i got this one altered so many times as you can see on the side they take it in but it gets y'all i am at work so i'm checking the timer but they take it in all the time, but it's still, it gets small super fast. So, um, I do still put my phones and boards in there, but so I can have the best results. Like, as y'all can see, my waist is snatched. I don't have no waist. Um, I'm, I still get swollen, super swollen, like still to this day, I am about to be three or four months post-op, I think three months post-op, still super swollen. They said that swelling won't subside um, until six months to a year. So it just depends on the body, how you're taking care of that lymphatic system and how much you're still um, getting those massages. I'm in body contouring and those will, I will have uh, videos coming too when I go get my body contoured as well. So definitely, but the number one goal is Fajas, waist training, and working out after surgery. Um, most definitely will be in my Faja for the full six months to a year. This is the best Faja. Um, it has the buns inside and then it zips up. I usually wear this bra with it. So um, they say put on a tank top underneath and when you are new, when you are freshly out of sur surgery, definitely wear a tank top, flip it inside out because your skin, like it's your skin is really loose and it has to retract. Um, and you just had surgery, so most definitely wear a tank top underneath so your skin won't be so red. And y'all, that is my stage two faha. Stage two. I got into that stage two faha around a week after a week or two after surgery and i could talk to y'all about that too 
So yeah, I got into my stage for uh, two weeks later. I thought it was a week after, but no, I was super swollen. And I didn't try to jump um, into that stage too. But it is recommended to get in it as quick as possible. So you can already have that defined um, curvy shape. Like I said, I do have on my waist wrap right now. Um, this Faja is great. I just have to get a new one <laughs> other than that. It is great. Um, it, it, baby, it was tight. When I first got in there, this thing was so tight. And this is a size large. So, I mean, I don't know if I need a medium or a small. So, I didn't want to order one. So, I'm going to go to the girl again and get another stage two um, Faja just in a smaller size. So, ladies, definitely get, invest in you a Faja. Do not try to buy a Faja before you leave for surgery. Do not do that. Um, if you are going to Miami, go to Pretty Girl Curves. If you aren't draining, I couldn't go to Pretty Girl Curves because I was leaking blood the full five, six days I was there. The sixth day I came back, it was minimum. I was on a plane. It didn't drain out. Um, I think the seventh day, seventh or eighth day was the last day I drained out, but I was able to get into another Faja, and I did black. Black, this color is always the tightest color, and that's what I like about it a lot. Even my surgery center stated that um, the black will be more tighter than um, the tan looking one. So I definitely got the black one and that shaped my body quick. Yeah, I keep losing track because I'm at work, but I did want to show y'all um, that you don't have to keep ordering Fajas over. As y'all can see, I am in my waist wrap. Like I stated earlier, I always wear my little bras and I do this majority of the time to save my hips. So this works, but this Faja, this this is going to be the root of like your investment, saving that investment, not having to go back. Um, I know a lot of girls be wondering like how they should do it. I would just say with the stage two, you could it's all it's three stages to Faja: stage one, two, and three. Stage one is when you come out of surgery. You either um, get it for free with your surgery center or you pay for it. I had to pay for it. It was like $120. And I was out of that stage one in eight days, like I stated earlier. The stage two, you can definitely um, get the stage two altered and taken in. That's what I do now. And I just continue to um get it taken in i think like i said i'm gonna have to order like a brand new one or go to the girl where i got this one from because this this thing gets loose within a week now <laughs> with my phones and um ab and backboard in it so and of course i'm like 13 weeks post-op so um this is a stage three like i said this is not recommended i would not recommend y'all to buy it, but this is how it looks it has the three um, compartments here where you could, you know, close it up. Yeah, this thing is too, that thing is too big anyways. Um, but you would want one like this. This material is really thick material, really good. Yeah, I could like it get taken in all the time. Um, but definitely if you don't want to keep buying Fajas, because this is one of my, I love this Faja. I've been in this Faja for like weeks. <laughs> so i just get that taken in like i said i am going to buy me another one but for the time being if you don't want to keep spending money just keep getting it taken in i know a lot of girls send theirs off to the faja doctor well i know a lady who takes it in in my city and it takes her about two to three days if she's not working and if she is working i'll get that faja by the end of the week and while i am waiting on my faja to be done i always waste train and just work out and try to get everything done um so i won't be super super swollen but once you're outside of that faja you're gonna always be super super swollen i know a couple of girls say wing off the faja around six months because there's um swellingness it'll it'll get used to you being in that faja but like i said i'm gonna wear mine 
until six months. Um, waist training and for high end. Just seeing the different methods of compressions. And I will keep y'all updated on that. But pretty much, I just wanted to talk to you guys about the stage one, two, and three Fajas. You, like I said, on um, just a recap. Stage one is for a week or two or three. If you're super like swollen and your body is really tender, do not jump into a stage two Faja because that Faja compresses a lot. And the stage one Faja doesn't compress at all. When I got out of surgery, like I can try to um insert a clip. I will insert a clip with my stage one Faja because I end up giving it away. But that Faja was too big, like within a couple of days because I was, my, my waist was shrinking. And then um, people say they use their phones and ad boards. I did not use my phones and ad boards the first week because I was bleeding a lot. And I'm glad I didn't because my phones and ad boards, I still use those to this day. And there, I just wash them, hand wash them and dry them with my fan or let them air dry. So that pretty much is it Um, with the stage one. You won't be in that forever. But that's stage two. You could buy stage three. That's um, heavy compression stage two and stage three. Or you could stay in your stage two and just keep winging it with taking it in and getting it altered, sending it off to the Faja doctor. Um, to be honest, get a stage two that's no compression on the hips and butt. Because if you compress on your hips and your butt, that's going to push in your hips and push in your butt. And you already paid money to get more hips and more butt put into your body. You don't want to have to keep going back for more and more and more. So definitely get a no hip, no butt compression Faja stage two or three. Stage two, you would, honestly, I would recommend you guys to get a stage two because you don't want to get a stage three and you're not at that stage three stance. Like get a stage two, see how that works. If you want to buy another stage three later on down the line, three, four months, five months post-op, do that by any means. But for me, I'm going to stay in the stage two, get the highest compression that I can get. Once it gets too big, I get them taken in and boom. Um, that, and that helps with swelling. Like I like swell up so bad when I'm outside of my faja or I don't have on my waist wrap. And that's totally normal. You're going to be swollen. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to throw this out there to y'all ladies. You're going to be swollen for a long time. So don't, you know, don't get discouraged. We're all going through this together. Most definitely just protect your investment, ladies. Get them um, fajas, get those massages. And later on down the line, once you're 12, 13 weeks post-op like me, you'll hop into that body contouring. It's not too much as you need it. But it's as needed. If you know someone who does body contouring, because it's really expensive, they're probably almost higher than the massages. Because I think one girl charged here in Alabama one fifty. So baby, I'm I almost thought about ordering the whole little body contouring stuff, but that junk is just totally expensive. So if if y'all know how to like massage really really good or buy the materials like I did. I bought most of the instruments for body contouring, but I am going to go to the girl as well just to see how she does it and how it makes my body um, flare out. Definitely um, go on Amazon and buy that stuff just to save you some coins because this is a long process um, and it's really expensive with dealing with the post-op. Now, the pre-op and the surgery, that was expensive, but the post-op is it equals up to the surgery. So I most definitely um, get all of that. But that concludes this video. I just wanted to show y'all the fire house that I am in. I know y'all been asking. And like I said, that compression video will come soon. I just want to make sure that I'm giving y'all the best advice I can. I don't want to just throw it out there and then it's not working for y'all. I want to give y'all exactly what works for me. And um, Fahim right now that works for me. And my compression tips, that should be coming pretty, pretty soon. So stay tuned. Like, comment, subscribe. Hit that post notification bell. And I'll see y'all in that next video.